A stern message also echoed by the governor this evening at the state capitol. In central Virginia, there are six confirmed COVID-19 cases here in Richmond. and Rico and Chesterfield counties both have eight. SCBS 6's Cameron Thompson explains state officials say this health crisis could have a long road ahead. COVID-19 is going to be with us for a long time, months not weeks. The stark reminder from Governor Ralph Northam at Sunday's briefing on the coronavirus as the number of cases reached 219 statewide. Northam says that number will only grow as testing increases and the virus spreads. How quickly those numbers rise is up to you. Northam says social distancing is key and thanks the majority of Virginians who are doing that. But he adds some aren't and are putting everyone at risk to our colleges and universities. No more fraternity parties. And for everyone, social distancing does not mean congregating on a crowded beach. Northam was asked about the possibility of ordering a statewide lockdown like others have done. The governor didn't say one way or the other, but added he has a lot of options on the table. I will assess what is going on uh, in Virginia on a daily basis and, and, and make those decisions. Northam also updated the state's efforts to equip health care workers, saying they're taking several approaches, including talking with Virginia's CEOs. Our message is clear. It is time to step up. Virginia needs your expertise in manufacturing, logistics, and in the supply chain. And regarding COVID-19's economic impact, Northam says they are monitoring that and ways to mitigate it, but adds their primary focus is on stopping the spread of the virus. Our economy will be stronger the sooner we can get the health crisis under control. Northam was also asked about extending his order to keep K-12 schools closed. Currently, that's only for two weeks, and we're now halfway through that. Northam says he anticipates making an announcement on that tomorrow. Working for you at